I am now. Me too. I can't sleep either. Why? Well, I'm too excited about finishing the scout hunt and and becoming a scuppet scout. I can't sleep a bit. Can you? <laughs> oh, nope, not a bit. How about a bedtime story? That might help us. Ah, uh, yeah. Go ahead. There's the book. All right. This one is about the widow's coins. Hmm. Sounds good. There once was a woman who was very poor oh, and a widow. One day, she came to the temple to give her offering to God. Many people came to the temple and when they would drop their offerings, it would make this loud noise that would echo across the temple. As the widow walked through the temple, Jesus and his disciples watched her. She walked up to give her offering and dropped in two small coins. These two coins were all she had to live on. As Jesus watched the widow, he said to his disciples, I tell you the truth. This poor widow has given more than all the others who are making offerings, for they gave a tiny part of their riches. But she, poor as she is, has given everything she has to live on. Wow. She gave everything she had. Really, God? You want us to give everything we have? Well, okay. Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn about, as you've obviously already heard, the widow's mutt. And no, it is not a type of book. Anyways, what we're going to be learning about today is the fact that we need to give God everything that we have. So join us for worship and we will be right back. Cheerio!
Um, I'm not going anywhere. Did you watch today's lesson? Well, today's lesson said that we should give God everything we have. And so I decided that I would go in my room and I would give God everything that I had. Like this hat and this hat and this hat and this ow, hat. <laughs> oh, and also I brought my bag, which has my <laughs> duffel bag in it. And then in my bag I have... Uh, I, this. So I decided... I would give God everything that I had. What are you talking about, Nathan? That's not what the lesson is talking about. That's worse than saying that the widow's mite is a type of bug. It's not? <sighs> what we're trying to talk about today is the fact that God wants us to give everything that we have inside of us. Wait, 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 wait. Everything inside of us? You mean like our heart and our liver and our livers and pancreases and microbial pathogens and brain cells and the nucleus within their brain cells? Like that? My head hurts. What we're trying to... Okay, let's leave all the insides on the side of the road and what we're going to talk about today is the fact that we need to give God everything that we have, as in our thoughts, our emotions, our actions, our whole life needs to be centered around God, not our actual insides. Anyways, when the widow gave her two coins and she put it in the basket, that was all that she had. Now she didn't have to give all of the coins, she could have given one coin or she could have given no coins, but she gave both and decided to trust in God that he would take care of her. This is an example of how we should act in our own lives. We should trust that God will take care of us if we give him everything that we have. Therefore, everything that we do should be centered around him and we should give him everything that we have. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give. Now reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9, 7. Hey boys and girls, here are some practical examples or ways that you can give everything to God this week. You can give God your time by spending time with him. You can give him your talents. Or you can even give him money by giving to the church or even by giving to missionaries. But remember that whenever you give, give with a cheerful heart. Because that's what pleases God. So I hope you can find a way to use these and to give God your all this week. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the boys and girls and all of us. And I pray that as we go throughout this week, that we'd be able to give you everything. In Jesus' name, amen. See you later. But remember, don't forget the Zoom call.